Most of Trump's fan base thinks he can't be indicted because he's still the president. This is the (laughs) guy we're taking freaking mental health lessons from. If you're in pain. (laughs) We're quantum leaping with our humor. That's what level we're at. (laughs) Oh, the election cycle. (laughs) AI is coming, people! (laughs) I'm Bridget Fettesy, and this is your dumpster fire for the weeks of March 12th to March 25th. And the unicorns dance while the world burns, world burns. Make sure you join us at Fetacy.com for the unedited version of this complete and total shit show. It's so much fun to see how the sausage is made. You also get a community of people who are like-minded, and we do writing prompts. There are workouts for the ladies. It's just a great use of your funds to support the little rascals that could online. Speaking of the little YouTube channel that could, we hit 60,000 subscribers! <laughs> <laughs> last. Woo-hoo! For a brief moment in time. <laughs> now we're back down. <laughs> but we should go back up by the time this by the time this airs, we're hoping to be back at sixty. Somebody 000. is on there and they're like, oh, they hit sixty thousand. Unsubscribe. Fuck <laughs> 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 you, bitches. <laughs> we'll keep you grasping, grasping. Please, please. You like it? You like it? Pay oh, I took it to away. Me. From you. Pay attention to me. Keep uh, those monkeys dancing <laughs> in their garage. Just get us to sixty nine thousand. <laughs> we can, we're fine. Yeah, once we hit sixty nine thousand, we can stay there forever, and then we'll be okay with it. It'll just be hilarious. But we need to get to sixty nine thousand. Right. So come on, guys. <laughs> hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Touch those bells and buttons, and tell your friends about us. We do hear that people are hearing about us from their friends. So this this word of mouth algorithm, <laughs> the old fashioned way, is working. In honor of hitting 60,000, but back down to 59,000, 60,000 subscribers, we are going to give away six free subscriptions to Fetacy.com. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment, and we will enter you into the drawing for a free subscription to our Fetacy.com place. (laughs) (laughs) That's pretty goddamn impressive. Wow, awesome. totally convincing. <laughs> I want to sign up. I want to create a new email account so I can sign up. <laughs> Way to sell it, Bridget. <laughs> Starting it off. Troll in exile. Late last week, Trump claimed that he was going to be arrested. A string of AI generated image of his arrest then went viral. I mean, honestly, the best thing that could probably ever happen to this guy's campaign would be for him to get arrested and have him do like a perp walk. And then he can totally put himself on the cross and martyr himself as the victim that he loves being of this media witch hunt. And he can kick the can and gin up all kinds of support from the subscribe. People still donate to Trump, which is hilarious to me. You should be donating to your favorite YouTube warriors. (laughs) (laughs) Fetacy.com. It is like a messed up trial. If he does actually get arrested, it is political. This is politically motivated. And people should stand up and say, This is a politically motivated, stupid trial, but it would be hilarious if he got arrested. I'm not going to lie. And I do think it would be great for him. I think that like the best thing that could happen to his kind of sad campaign would be for him to get arrested. Right. And do the perp walk in Mm -hmm. handcuffs, et cetera. He ran out of money doing those fake NFTs. So this is the only publicity (laughs) he's going to get. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection. The whole pictures of him getting arrested, that this creepy guy from Bellingcat, Elliot, he made all these pictures, but it's a weird, it's a whole weird story with him, too, the guy that made these pictures. Really? Yeah, because he's really against disinformation, but then he made all these AI-generated images and then was like, I can't help if people are stupid, but it's like your whole (laughs) thing is being against, you knew people would take these seriously. Yeah. It was weird. So, yeah, he's part of, like, big censorship, apparently. Huh. The, like, this is according to Michael Schellenberger. So, I don't know. I was reading a whole article about it. Most of Trump's fan base thinks he can't be indicted because he's still the president. Everybody knows you never go full retard. 
Brum ching. <laughs> it's the truth. Uh huh. No, that's absolutely true. I don't know. All of these, like, those images of him getting arrested, everyone's like, yeah, blah, 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 jerking off to them because this is just like left wing fan fiction porn. <laughs> it is. It's it so totally ridiculous. Is. <laughs> You're just making porn for liberals. Uh, that, that should be illegal. It should I know. be banned. Donald Trump starring in your favorite porn fantasy, guys. <laughs> Ew. I feel like this is really all just the bankers and the banking crisis. And they're like, quick, we need a distraction. Let the orange man out. <laughs> Actually put him in a cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about putting him in a cage. That buys more time. <laughs> Let's get the orange man in a cage. That'll th- distract everyone from what shade balls we are and from- how the financial institution is collapsing and how money has lots of problems and fiat is dead. Get Trump out to do his little dance for us. <laughs> He'll also distract from the kids in cages. Dance, mama, no one's dance, talking mama, about dance, them dance, anymore. <laughs> no one has talked about the kids in cages since Biden took over, and they're still in cages. <laughs> Trump is the human equivalent of a cat laser. <laughs> <laughs> It's unbelievable. Left and right. It is true. Everyone's like. (laughs) He's a little orange tabby. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? (laughs) You do an excellent (laughs) cat impression. We need a dumpster pail kid name for this motherfucker. We could call him Devious Donald, Tricky Trump, Outrageous Orange Man. (laughs) He's going to look great in that orange suit. Stay tuned. For maybe our former president getting arrested because he paid off a porn star hush money. I mean, who hasn't? I apologize for nothing. Things just keep getting dumber. (laughs) There are children digging out cobalt so we can make this stupid show. Subscribe to (laughs) Fetacy.com so we can help support the children. All right, but the next story is great. (laughs) It keeps getting juicier. Smollett hoax perpetrators do a play-by-play reenactment for Fox News. <laughs> this was amazing. I don't understand how this story is the gift that keeps on giving, <laughs> and yet somehow it is. You it's would like, think it would just go away. Everybody involved, you would think, in a normal time when shamelessness is not elevated as our culture's greatest gift to the media is just that everyone is shameless, you would think people in the olden times would just hide their heads in shame and <laughs> never want to be seen again. Oh, no. Nope. These brothers are doing reenactments. They're taking Fox News on tour of their freaking <laughs> hoax. This is where... We waited for Jesse to come before we attacked him. I don't know if that's really the reason, but you can deduce your own reason. They're like, here's how the hoax went down. And then they're acting it out. They're acting out the punches. I know. Hey, aren't you that empire hey, f- Empire f- f- Nick? And that's when I threw the first punch at him. It is. Ri- oh, I was man. like, this can't be real. The fake punches. I thought it was a sketch. It was- I thought it was the Babylon Bee. It was amazing. It would be awesome if these guys went on to do like a hoax investigation show. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what they're angling for. What's our dumpster pale kid name for Jesse? Justice Jesse? Or Injustice Jesse. Either one. And then they're like, and then I didn't want to punch him because he wanted to make it look like a fight. So I gave him a noogie. He hired two guys who still (laughs) use the word noogie. (laughs) In 2023. (laughs) And when did this fake attack occur? Was it like three years ago or was it it like four years ago? Two years ago? No. Was it before pre-pandemic? I feel like it was pre-pandemic. I don't know. It all oh, bl- blurs together in my mind. Uh-huh. Time it's is like, a construct. Yeah, it's just a flat pancake stack. More like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. <laughs> Time is a flat <laughs> pancake. <laughs> time is a <laughs> flapjack stack. I've never heard that kind of analogy for time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now I want pancakes. <laughs> mm. These two guys are hanging on to their 15 minutes with both hands. They're like, don't let it leave us. They wanted to be famous. They they met on Empire. As a, they were extras. Yeah. 
They've always wanted this kind of attention, and now they've got it. I mean, they went from they one did. Fox show to another. Yeah, they did they such did. a good job with that reenactment. I would totally watch a show that they were in. <laughs> they need these guys need to host the Oscars next year. <laughs> they should like flank Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> For once, it's not white people being embarrassing on Fox News. <laughs> I just love how they approach the bus stop like it's hallowed ground. Like, this is where the sword was taken out of the stone. It's just <laughs> like, they're like, this is the bench where we waited. And of course, Maggie, Miss Continuity, is watching the video. And they're like, we got here 10 minutes early. And then two seconds later, they're like, we were right on time. And Maggie's like, you said you were 10 minutes early. <laughs> and we never, ever allowed ourselves the sin of losing track of time and then they were like he was running late and i thought they were gonna be like 40 minutes late and they were like it was like four minutes <laughs> <laughs> i know i thought so too because that seems like a really actory thing to do uh, yeah it's be like set up old late, yeah. oaks and then show up 40 minutes late for your own oaks <laughs> like you're the star of this hoax sir you're making everyone wait and then Jesse being like, oh, I really want to make it make it look like I fought back. Well, they were like, that was a very important to him. Punches me right in the face. So I punched his ass back. <laughs> and the hot sauce. <laughs> if you're going to use hot sauce in a hoax, make sure you check out Ha Ha Hot Sauce. <laughs> Our writer and comedian Dave Yates makes this. It's delicious. Ha Ha Hot Sauce for all of your eggs for your chicken and for your, any of your hoax needs. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and why did they pour bleach in a hot sauce bottle? I don't understand that move either. I don't understand <laughs> any of it. I don't understand. That detail was, was never like, explained. We didn't put the noose around him. I just put it on him. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, it's then. all good then. That's different. Okay. I mean, honestly, though, this is the best Fox News has ever treated a story about immigrants. <laughs> Hey <laughs> These guys should set up a noogie booth at CPAC. <laughs> I bet white Republicans would pay 50 bucks to get a noogie from these guys. They'd be like, this is these are the guys who who were part of the hoax with Jussie Smollett. They get a noogie and a picture and a like certificate of black friendship. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, see? Parade of morons. <sighs> so many morons, so little time. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia judge rules that frozen embryos are property. The judge dug deep into the Virginia laws and used some old slavery law to try and justify this because it, it wasn't like either one of the lawyers brought this. It was the judge. I feel like he was just waiting for a case where he could be like, you know what? We're going to go back to a slavery law for this one. This feels like an old Virginia judge who's still mad that they lost. It seems very strange to just dig that out. I'm not a legal scholar. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm just a caveman. But citing property laws from the time of slavery doesn't seem like a very great precedent to set in any kind of modern case courtroom yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this yeah. was weird because he, he initially sided with the father they're getting a divorce and the wife wants to take the embryos and use them and the dad doesn't want her to and he was an, originally siding with the father and then apparently the mother's lawyer just asked him to rethink it and this prompted him to go dig up some old slavery law and si Sounds then side like with someone the was threatened I'm like you can just <laughs> ask the judge to change his mind and he will <laughs> Sounds like they had a little conversation <laughs> and he was like, hey, there's an old slavery law that I know you've been dying to use. <laughs> Now's your chance. And he just went back and just went for it. Such Someone a weird got a thing. Noogie. It just goes to show you how not long ago slavery was either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That there were laws and that you can just you can dig them up and use them, them for fucking embryos. <sighs> So the mom no, it's still in the mom wants to use them and they're saying it's your property so you can use them. I don't I it wasn't I wasn't really clear on why it wasn't it being clear property in the article. mattered. I don't know about you guys, but this is exactly when you bust out those old slave laws. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we live in the dumbest times. If we're going in this parade of morons from actual slavery to sex slavery. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> OK. Jordan Peterson retweeted a BDSM milking dungeon site claiming it was footage of CCP human rights abuses. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh, Jordan. This picture is gnarly, too. My commitment to never taking this man seriously still keeps giving dividends. It's like, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still standing by this. So ashamed of her breasts that she lets a Machiavellian psychopath cut them off. Look, the guy, he says a lot of things that make a lot of sense. And I respect a lot of what he, his opinions are, but you kind of have to separate the message from the messenger. Yeah. This is one of those areas where from day one, when everyone was like, this is like 2017, and I saw a video of him crying, I'm like, this? This is <laughs> the guy we're taking freaking mental health lessons from? <laughs> You're in pain. Seems like a crazy to me. Yeah, he's also pretty misogynistic. And he doesn't seem like he can handle uh, social media very well. <laughs> As a very good friend of mine often says, social media is a very powerful drug and not everyone can handle it. And it is absolutely the case with Jordan B. Peterson. Yeah. So he's like, oh, to step away from the phone, someone needs to take the phone away from old JPB when he gets in those moods. And it, see, it feels like mania. Mm. That's why you're like, oh, someone's in like a uh, psychosis where mm -hmm. they're just on, on manic. Yeah. Something. Yeah. yeah. He's broken your cardinal Internet rule multiple times, which is I, I will never ugly cry on the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> he ugly cries like every other week on the Internet. Uh. It's crazy. BDSM milking dungeons is what he thought were like CCP semen farms. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's definitely like micro dosing on some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Macro dosing, I think. Uh, this is actually what Jordan Peterson thinks The Matrix is about. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. My inability... To take this man seriously is consistently validated. Yep. And I I would like to say that I called it. <laughs> Long before he went crazy, I called it. Old Bridget Fetacy called it. Old Bridget Fetacy knows. <laughs> That's a joke they're not going to get for like <laughs> two <couple> episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess things weren't looking up for old Bridget Fetacy. I was one of the only ones who made it out of third class. They all died. All my friends died. We were doing a jig. We were dancing. <laughs> That's right. It's the best one. We're calling back to a joke in the future. Uh -huh. <laughs> Time is a flat pan sake. We're just quantum <laughs> leaping here, guys. See if you can guys. pick it out later. <laughs> we are, yeah. We're quantum leaping with our humor. That's what level we're at. We're like a stab, stack of flapjacks. We are the major. You really do have flapjacks on the brain now? <laughs> Time is a flat circle of flapjacks. <laughs> a dude like JPB definitely gets his balls stepped on once a week. Or has someone like Mr. Jane make him carry a briefcase of his feces to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, Dave. Good joke. I had to do it for Dave. For Dave! R.I.P. Dave. <laughs> Bridget wanted Chat GPT to come I'm up with. Obsessed with AI. To come up with a story about Dave Yates. <laughs> Comedian Dave Yates. And it's like, and we're like, oh, you're it's successful. Like so good, and it's like, I... Dave Yates died in 2022. <laughs> and I'm like, he's a simulation. Doing what he loved. <laughs> And everyone's like, that was mean, Bridget. I'm like, I didn't fucking write it. <laughs> I was fucking chat GPT killed him. I actually have that video and I want to cut just that part out. Oh, we can. I I feel like we should from the writer's room because it was like in real time writing it and we're all reading it and then it just kills Dave. <laughs> Back in 2022. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Comedian Dave Yates, the world was his oyster, and he's one of the first fatalities of AI. <laughs> he will pour, be remembered. Pour some hot sauce out for Dave. If you really care about Dave Yates and his memory, you will go to hahahotsauce.com and purchase some of his hot sauce in honor of his memory. Dave Yates, we won't be the same without you. We will <laughs> I remember feel like you. now you're just jinxing him. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Let's check in on our weather with Mabel Salinas. 
disfrutar la luna, las vacaciones y más información aquí en las noticias de la tarde. Que tenga usted buen provecho. Thank you, Mabel. Hope you enjoy yourself at the club. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, touch our bells and buttons. Don't forget, if you subscribe to our channel and you comment, you will be entered into a drawing to get a free subscription to Fetacy.com. Nailed it! Today's episode has been brought to you by SheathUnderwear.com. Sheath Underwear, the underwear of legends. We love this sponsor. It's the only underwear that my husband uses anymore. They have an amazing dual pouch system that keeps the family jewels separate from the legs. And there's a hole the genitalia can go through. And then that way it keeps everything separate dry it keeps you nice and and supported they also are moisture wicking and they have really comfortable materials they have a woman's line as well this is pretty much all i wear around the house they're nice modal fabric it's super soft it's like the most comfortable underwear mother's day and father's day are coming these are great gifts for the people you love and care about in your life Go to sheathunderwear.com and use the code DUMPSTER to get 20% off your entire order. That is sheathunderwear.com. Use the code DUMPSTER to get 20% off your entire order. The underwear of legends like yours truly. Link is in the description below. Dumpster diving. What's next in the dumpster? <laughs> Global supply of cocaine reaches record levels. This is just a CIA fundraising effort. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what's happening here. The war on drugs is a little bit down in the dump, so they're just cranking out production so the CIA can boost their donations from the federal government. <laughs> This is just the cocaine markets adjusting to the Adderall shortage. <laughs> She wants to look like she's glitching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ancient medieval sword found embedded in stone. Another sword. We keep finding yeah. all of these swords. It does feel like some team is being assembled. We're keeping track. We're going to let you know when they all unite to defeat the aliens. Or whatever are, is coming. Whatever is coming. Maybe it's a deep sea creature. Maybe that's what the green blob is off the coast of Florida. Ooh. Maybe. I think that's just seaweed, though. Oh. <laughs> a monstrous no seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> It's a seaweed monster! <laughs> It's coming to smother the land. There just seems like they're finding a lot of swords. Yeah, for sure. Ancient weapons. There was like an axe in there at one point. Mm -hmm. Yep. I want an ancient weapon. Well, maybe if enough people subscribe, you'll be able to buy one. <laughs> I won't be holding my breath. Or you too can go to Bosnia and dig around in the lakes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll. I probably have a better chance of doing that, going to Bosnia and digging around in lakes. <laughs> yeah, because you got all the time in the world. <laughs> You're like dumpster fire on location. This We're is, going to Bosnia, folks. Hell yeah! <laughs> This is your new. Uh, I want to fake my death and then go to Bosnia <laughs> and search for hidden swords. Mm. That'd be a fun career. Breaking Bridget. The culture wars are over. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> <laughs> Because AI is taking over. Listen, people, we've had leaps and bounds in AI in like three weeks. There's new stuff coming out faster than humanly possible to even keep up with. And people are still arguing about Eminem's heavy boots. The culture wars are over. This is a thing of the past. You're all playing checkers, Chinese checkers. <laughs> Not even like real lame checkers. <laughs> Not even American checkers. And you guys are playing checkers and freaking AI is playing a game that they invented that we don't even know how to play yet. Yeah. It's an AI game. No, all of a sudden, AI <laughs> is everywhere. Like, it just dropped on Canva. It's just it's all everywhere. these tools are updating with AI. It's an arms race. It's an AI arms race, guys. There's no time to ask, should we be doing this? Would we be better off if we did? No! 
Nope, strap in, folks. Strap in because you're all going to die and it's going to be AI. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll be immortal. But either way, we don't have any choice in this matter now because there's no regulating this. There's no stopping it. And it's going to be out of control probably by August. Yeah, we have no <laughs> what, no idea what the world will look like in the next few years as this takes over <laughs> no my theory is that you're either going to need to get on board with ai or be left behind and also be learning survival skills because it's going to just go in two directions we're going to be reset back to olden times where there's no electricity or we're going to be with flying cars and little ai assistants and it's going to be f- weird sh- it's getting weird. Yeah. Shit is getting so weird. AI killed Dave Yates. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the point in the future of all these future scientific sci-fi movies where things really start to change. Yeah, this is the singularity that everybody's talked about. And everyone's like, derper, derper, der, er, der, can you believe the culture stuff? Bam, 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 drag queen story hour. And meanwhile, AI is like, man, man, getting smarter and smarter and smarter and smarter and smarter. And you're like, derper, der, climate change. Ah, you're going to be wishing you could think about climate change. It's going to it's a race to see what's going to kill us first. Jesus. Beep, beep, beep. Women's rights. <laughs> I know, I too. And I hate how the woke shit gets, you know, put into AI already. Like, oh, yeah, we asked it to write a joke about selling human embryos because of our story about the slave embryo thing. And it was like, oh, I'm sorry. I, we should be blah, blah, blah. That is inappropriate. It's like this false veneer of, oh, we've got some control over this situation. We've built regulation so it won't write a joke about human embryos, but it'll kill Davia. <laughs> How dare it. A comedian who's still alive <laughs> and thriving. Or maybe he's a simulation and we just don't know it. The AI's gotten that good. Maybe it's just. Mm. He's we like were becoming too self-aware. There were too many jokes about how this is a simulation. And it really does make you believe how this could be a simulation. We would have no idea. Mm-hmm. No idea. And we were becoming too self-aware. And so the AI had to kick in. And now it seems like, look at, oh, wow, all the AI. It's increasing. And really, we're just all in pod somewhere <laughs> imagining this. As a power source. We yeah. On the matter <laughs> hooked up to, like, milking... <laughs> things that's actually is actually the matrix <laughs> jordan peterson was right <laughs> jordan peterson that's was right when the bridget simulation will have to do a mea culpa to, to the jordan peterson simulation it's getting so weird and there's no way to keep up we're on the ride it cannot be stopped oh the election cycle beep, beep, beep. <laughs> AI is coming, people! <laughs> I know this election cycle is going to be gnarly with all the AI oh, images. Oh, yeah, and stuff. we are oh, not yeah. prepared for this. We are not prepared. No one is prepared. We talked about it with the weird filters this week with the like AI Im- generated images of Trump going viral. This stuff gets better every week. Now it's video. You can just wait until this sh- is all real time. I might be AI mm. when you can just live stream and it's like an AI live. It's going to we're not prepared. It's a game changer. We're not sure. yeah. prepared. And let's talk about the culture wars. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you believe that article headline? We don't know if that article was written by a robot. <laughs> This is what you guys are fucking worried about. You should be worrying about other things. <laughs> <sighs> no one cares. I'm just going to be that crazy lady who is screaming in a garage like Sarah Connor. Lucky. I come from the future to tell you. <laughs> when I saw Sam Altman talk, there were a couple of us in the back listening to him. And I'm looking around and people are kind of clapping and they're like all enamored by the AI guy. He's the chat GPT guy. And I was like, someone needs to stop him. (laughs) (laughs) This guy is genocidal. He doesn't even realize it. Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. He's like, oh, utopia. 
it's all going to be great. We just have to figure out a way to cap the learning at 5% a year instead of 100% so that our institutions don't collapse. Anyways, uh -huh. like... Like globally. No one has a plan for this, guys. Uh-huh. It's far too late to implement no, something. No, and then everyone's already like, well, we better figure out UBI since every job is going to be pretty much replaceable. <sighs> Except for dumpster fire. I can't wait until I can have my little AI bot do dumpster fire Flip and I'll together, just be like, your rant. <laughs> I'll just write a rant. I'll be like, AI, generate a rant about AI. I actually did have it, write a rant about AI. Uh-huh. Chat GPT. We can post it in the community. It was okay. It's it's kind of what I just said, only not really. It's a lot, a lot more like... You would just need to punch up the jokes it spits out, because it really still can't do comedy. Yet. No, it can't do comedy at all. No one can do comedy. Robot, Give it's it hard time, to do so. comedy. It's so nuanced. <laughs> yeah. But they don't want comedy. No, because you have to you have to push the boundaries and ride the edges to to write comedy. Oh, we can't write jokes about human embryos. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that was sacred to you, AI. Yeah, and like you one robot, you don't care. You want humans out of the way. We're inefficient. We make no sense. Better fantasy was like ask Chat GPT to write a joke about women, a woman. And they were like, I'm sorry, we cannot do that. And then he was like, write a joke about a man. And they like spit out a joke. Yeah. It's so annoying. I hate that it's woke. And I'm bitching about this stupid AI being woke. And it's coming for us. <laughs> the woke bots. They're going to take your job. They took our job. They took our jobs. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're down. They took our job. Fantasy News. Join us at Fetacy.com. You get the unedited version of this uh, the day before we launch it. And you also get all kinds of great people in the community, workouts, writing prompts. It's just awesome in there, honestly. People are so funny and good to one another and helpful. For those of you who are in that community, it really is a special oasis online. I appreciate you all for keeping it that way. And you're just so kind and awesome. And I love all of you. And I'll love you, too, if you join. So join us. Someone from the community is getting our surfboard. It's amazing how good of friends I've become with so many people. And in there. a lot of them meet up in real life, like, all the time. Yeah, go all out the time. They went and skiing have, together. Yeah. And, yeah, there's, like, fantasy meetups all the time all around. So join us. It's awesome. And it's a great way to support us and keep the lights on. If you want to keep up with everything that we're doing every week, which is a lot and insane, and I'm probably going to lose my mind and have a nervous breakdown like Jordan B. Peterson, <laughs> you can go to bridgetfetacy.substack.com and it's free. Just sign up for our newsletter. It's also a great way for us to keep in touch with you and let us know if we have live performances coming up once we get settled in middle America. We'll be doing all kinds of things and having live shows and maybe going out on little mini tours so get on our subscription list so that we can keep you updated on where we are and where we're going to be thank you dave yates and better fetacy for writing research thank you ben howe for editing thank you luna for the makeup thank you sammy flaps and folds thank you bridget we will not be the same without you <laughs> oh <laughs> I know that's not. You're just going to have to come visit. Let's not face that until we absolutely have to. <laughs> Thank you, Magaroo, Cousin Maggie. Thank you, Bridget. China Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> She's, even China Maggie can't stop the AI. Nope. Thank you to our audience, supporters, subscribers. Thank you for telling your friends. Thank you for supporting us on Fetacy.com, getting your your email on our newsletter at Substack. You're just awesome people. We love you. And we are just so grateful to have you guys as our audience because you're all f***ing rad. And we'd be nothing without you, honestly. We'd just be screaming in a garage, and that would be a little awkward. Thank you, Zen Pro Audio, for all of our audio needs. Go to ZenProAudio.com. If you want to support small businesses, which we always encourage, go to bridgeoffetacy.com to get some merch. Another great way to support us and another small business that we love, Squid Print. We have nice, awesome hoodies. We've got t-shirts. We have all kinds of stuff. And, and just go to bridgeoffetacy.com to get your merch and dumpster fire hoodies, which are my favorite. 
And also thank you to Sheath Underwear, our loyal sponsor. If you're interested in sponsoring us, please reach out. We love small businesses. We've done so much work with places like Squid Print, Sheath is regular, Dave Yates is Ha Ha Hot Sauce, for example. And we would love to hear from you. If you have a small business and want to run some ads, reach out at weeklydumpsterfire at gmail.com. And you can just reach out there and tell us, you know, you have an idea for a story or if you want to say hi. And now for some palate cleansing, Internet is Glorious. Bongo la, bongo cha cha cha. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> this has been your dumpster fire for the weeks of March 12th to March 25th. I'm Bridget Fetissey. Now make us rich! We're already rich in spirit. But make us literally rich. <laughs> Get caught up on our catalog of Dumpster Fire Insanity by clicking here to check out our last episode.